Hi friends. So in the previous video we have seen uh, the type modules, so ES6 modules, importing that one using the ES6 modules we have seen, right? So there is one disadvantage using this importing thing like this. Okay, what is that disadvantage? Let's see. So if you see here, I have a simple example. So previous like previous like that example only. So I have an app.ts file. This app.ts file I am importing two two files, post and category. These two files are nothing but in the components you'll be having one class category and also one class post. So these are in separate files. And this app.ts file I am I am importing those two files. So two two files, two classes I am importing through the import thing, and I am creating a new object. So just a simple uh, code. Now what I am doing is so if you check here, I am using uh, script type is called module and I am doing the dist app.js. App yeah. So app.js I am importing. Now if you try to see the output of this one, so what can you see? You, if you try, if I if I try to refresh this one, I am able to see that a post object and the category object has been created. But if you see in the network, now if I refresh it again, if you see in the network thing, one second, let me refresh it cache. Now if you see here the code, what it is happening is I have imported only app.js file. So script type is called module. I have used only app.js file. But here if you observe app.js file is there and post.js file and also category.js file. So three JS files has been included in this one. So if you try to see this one, each one is having 412 KB and this one is 369 bytes and 3.85 bytes. So we are having so I am importing only one file so the, but it here you are getting able to see three files and also if you see the waterfall model of this one see every time it may take some time but here see if you see here this if you have if in the real time project if you have so many js files for example if it is kb sub files means if you have so many imports so if you have so many imports here so all the classes if you are importing and everything it will take so much of time why because you are calling so much uh, so much so many files here js files this could create a latency issue so the performance issue also it, gets, it can create it is better if you combine these all those js files into a single js file and if you load that one it will be a better thing so then you can reduce the number of requests http requests so that this in this waterfall if you, you can see that connection establishing it is taking downloading it is taking less time so total thing it is taking like this so here you can see four load is 4.75 seconds it is taking total uh, calculating these all milliseconds it is saying so instead of doing this one, so here also you can see out of 13 requests it is taking, okay, total of 13 requests, I am going to only JS file, right? So that is, uh, that is the reason, here by request itself is coming from the, now what I can say, from the JS file. So you, you can leave this browser sync like this is coming from our local server, that is light server we have used, right? So that one is coming. And in order to, how we can combine these three files into a single file. So this can be achieved through webpack. So in order to use the webpack, so what we can do is if you go here and if we search for webpack here okay this webpack is nothing but what i can say is it's a module bundler okay webpack is mainly useful for combining all the js files so here you can see all the js files here you will able to see all the js files all the js files will be converted into a single js file and also CSS files also we can convert all the sas files and all those things sas files sas files means that but what we can say is this is one type of preprocessor. Okay. So SAS files, less compiler, CSS, these all are preprocessor, CSS preprocessors. These all it will compile into CSS and it will combine it to a single file. Okay. This is the bundling. Actually, we can say what we can say is combining, compi combining, compiling all the modules into a single file. So right now in this project, we have these all modules. Okay. These all modules it will be compiled and also it will be combined into a single JS file. Okay. So Webpack will do this one. So and also how the webpack will do what the webpack will do is it will also app.ts it will take this app.ts it will compile that one into the js it using the typescript compiler and it will emit the code in the dist where you want to uh, emit the code it will emit the code in the dist folder okay this is how we can it will do so uh, if you want to see the complete documentation you can go to the documentation document is the best source you can learn about the webpack so right now what so right now in this video what we will try to do is we will try to install the webpack and also we'll try to configure the webpack and and also we'll try to see how we can execute the typescript code uh, using the webpack how we can do the real time typescript projects using the webpack how we can compile that one we will see here so here if you go 
I am I am stopping this server okay I am stopping this one also now I can start here so we need before proceeding this one we need to install webpack so how we can install the webpack is so here I am, I am writing code npm install or otherwise uh, I can go to the mm, sorry here with this is our sample project right so this one is also a sample project right and I can go here to command prompt and I am installing npm install webpack I will install the webpack and I will install the webpack hyphen cli I will install the typescript so let me I will tell you all these things what are the things ts loader I am installing the ts loader hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev okay so hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev means it is it will be storing in the it, it will be useful as the dev dependencies only it is not the dependencies these are all develop for development dependencies we are using so we are installing webpack webpack hyphen cli typescript and the ts loader so when i try to install this one when i click enter it will take some time to install so all are in installing it is trying to install all the webpack webpack cli and everything it is trying to install so now i uh, all the things are installed so webpack here it is webpack cli ts loader webpack and typescript everything has been installed so why wh what are these each one use we will check here so now here if you go into this project so now not in project so in the project if you go to the package.json you will be able to find these all the packages what we have installed so what is the use of this webpack webpack is nothing but this is the heart of the uh, heart of the mod module bundling so this webpack with this webpack will do it will take all the ts files or js files it will come it will bundle into a single js file okay webpack cli is nothing but what we can say is all the webpack commands uh, commands which, which which we need to work in the command prompt so webpack cli will take care of so all the commands webpack commands will work in the command prompt and the typescript so typescript why i have uh, used this one is so why because if you take this project and you if you try to install it in, in another system which doesn't has the typescript so now it will read from the project it will read from the package.json so it will install the typescript in the project okay so for that reason for safety right now the typescript is installed globally in my system but in another systems where you take another systems or anything so typescript will not be there in that system so in order not to get any problems so we are installing typescript as a dependency for this project so for this project to run we are telling that typescript is a dependency okay and the ts loader is nothing but webpack is used webpack will use this ts loader so the ts loader you uh, uses uh, what is that usage is it will compile the ts files and it will convert into the uh, what can you say js files okay so right right now with the help of ts loader webpack will compile all the ts files and it will convert into the what we can say js files and it will bundle that one okay so so this is the usage of the webpack so why we are using this webpack in order to overcome the multiple js files so we may need to compile all the js files into a single bundle and we need to compile this into a single file we are using this webpack so in order to run this webpack what we need to do is so we need to create a new file something like webpack.config.js okay so we need to create a file webpack.config so the file name should be like this only webpack.config.js so this is the configuration file for the webpack so whenever we need we try to run the webpack command here down so webpack will try to read this config we try to locate this configuration file whether this configuration file is present or not so it will read this configuration file and then convert the ts files into js files or whatever the instructions given in this configuration file it will try to do those instructions so okay so this is the thing so you need to create a file webpack.config.js so this is the usage of webpack and uh, this is this is how we will install the webpack in the project in the next video we will see how we can write the configuration for the webpack okay so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video so that i will try to give the reply and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you